California is going to be hard pressed to meet its the demands on its agriculture by 1975. After that, we don't know what. Already, because of developments like this one, uh, the quality of m many of our foods has gone down. And about five years ago, every subdivider in Baltimore County was eyeing them enviously. It was as if a, there was a Homestead Act about to be signed, and the whole bloody lot of them were just waiting for somebody to sound a pistol, and they would come into this area and smear it. Already, because of developments like this one, uh, we have lost a great deal of natural beauty uh, in, our, in and around our urban areas in California. And they would expunge inexorably every piece of beauty you can see before you. And of course, inevitably, they go to the valleys first, because valleys are remarkably easy to develop. With the least of all possible investments, you can accomplish the greatest vulgarization and the greatest spoliation. You can accomplish the least profits for the least number of people with a maximum social loss. Already, because of developments like this one, and of course, many others, worse than this one, uh, California has, has squandered a fifth of its prime agricultural land since World War II. Well, listening to what you were saying, Mr. Heller, uh, it, uh, it seems rather strange. Uh, we're in the business of uh, building residential communities, and we think we've done a reasonable job here. The public response has been quite good. It seems a very right and proper place to live, and you're almost suggesting that uh, we never should have touched it. It should have stayed in agricultural use. Uh, when the, the response in terms of uh, public acceptance has been quite good, why shouldn't we build a community here? Uh, look, you're damn right if I'm suggesting that uh, it shouldn't be done here. But I, I lay the blame entirely on the public agencies which determine land use policy. We cannot rely on local government to to preserve our, our finest uh, natural assets. It is a lesson that the state of Hawaii learned, incidentally, um, uh, when it adopted in 1960 its land use law, which withdrew from local government the power to zone lands. And the state of Hawaii um, took the zoning power on itself, and one of the things they did was to designate all lands in the state uh, which should be preserved for agriculture. When you start talking about something like this, you come pretty close to home in this area anyway, the notion of home rule, where uh, people want locally to govern themselves, and they're very fearful of giving up some of that power to even a regional governmental level. Well, it seems to me that you're just suggesting that we, we substitute one resource for another. The resource, is, uh, as a matter of fact, is not really it's not really agriculture, after all, it's land. And we're talking simply about the use to which land should be put. You're suggesting agriculture, I'm suggesting residential development. And we get into a subjective discussion of whether your use is better or mine is better. No, it is not subjective, my friend. Prime agricultural lands are objectively definable, and they are rare. It can take thousands of years for nature to create one inch of topsoil, and some continents don't even have any. In a world where millions are starving today and millions more will starve tomorrow, it is the most profound stupidity to sterilize these irreplaceable resources. Let me ask the, the obvious question then, uh, if not here, where? 